Hello, hello. Out today on a very short day. I was supposed to get out here much earlier. I'm getting out here later, but new area. Uh, I'm trying to Apollo Beach area, so I wanna learn uh, some different areas out here. Since the last video with John, Faith and Fishing got kicked out, a honey hole is gone. So I'm gonna go here. Uh, I know that there's some spots here. Uh, Luke from Reel Men Bait and Tackle definitely suggest this place. I've seen him catch fish here, so I'm gonna try it out. So guys, just stay tuned. Hopefully we catch something, enjoy the video. All right guys, so I'm out here. I am gonna start off with some shrimp. So uh, um, Luke from Reel Men Bait and Tackle gave me some shrimp today. So I'm gonna start off with those. I hadn't planned on doing that, but since he was nice enough to give them to me, um, to hook me up, just because I've been, you know, trying to help his channel out and uh, his his bait and tackle shop, because he's a really nice guy. Um, he just hooked me up. So I'm gonna cast underneath these, um, these docks all up along here and see if I can pull some sheep's head and some snapper um, from these places. And so all I'm doing is I have a little split shot on, 20 pound test, a size one hook, and um, I'm just throwing it out, watching my, watching my line to see if I get any taps, any movement on it. And I'm just being patient because I don't see any movement out here whatsoever right now. So we're gonna see. There we go. There we go. Oh, that was a good snook though. He broke me off. That was a good snook. I figured they'd be up underneath those docks and in the trees. Oh yeah, he broke me clean off. Nice little snook. All right, so I'm getting closer to the area where I really want to get to. Mm. I'm just going to keep using shrimp since I have them. And I just don't know this area. So. Who knows what I'm going to catch over here. I just don't know. I know there's snook over here for sure, and I know there's snapper, because I've seen them. And now sheep's head, so that I do know. Kind of drops off kind of quickly over here. Let me see if I can get this shrimp right over there, right where I wanted it. Let's see. If I can get him to work for me. Let's see if something's over there. That's gotta be a snook. No, oh, it's a huge snapper. Not huge, but nice size snapper. Man, he took off. Holy smokes. Who boy. He wanted that shrimp. I'm gonna have to retie that. Golly. He took off. That's a fat snapper right there. Yeah, he wanted that he wanted that shrimp bad. This is about a 13 inch snapper, 12 inches, 13. Yep. 12 and a half inch snapper. Nice little fat joker. 
All right, first fish of the day. Let's see if I can get in this area right here and get another one to bite. That was a nice bite. He wanted that thing. He just, he snatched the rod. I mean, he just took off with it. There's another one. Yep. Yep. There was another one. All right. Might have found a nice little school of snapper right here. Like I said, I'm not letting it sit. I'm moving it and that's when they're hitting it. I just have to keep moving it every once in a while. And I'm just going through the tail and I'm barely bringing it out the top. So just like that is what I'm doing. There. Oh my gosh, man. Hooey. Not small, that's for sure. There's some structure down there. There we go. There's another one. Another nice size one. Not super big, but he's a keeper. And that's two in like five minutes. That's an 11 inch snapper. So hooking it through the tail has been the ticket and burying the hook. I'm only staying here because I'm getting bites. And if I can get me a limit of snapper, that would be great. There's another one, guys. They're all little fatties, that's for sure. They're all little fatties. Oh, spit up my, my shrimp. I can use that for chum. He's gonna be barely 10. No? He's 11 as well. Mm. Mm -mm. Down boy. Yeah. 11. Number three. They're not super big, but they'll be enough for dinner.
Oh, shoot. See, not paying attention. I got a fish up underneath there. Can I get him out, though? Oh, he's buried under there. Crap. Fish on, but he is buried. attention right where I thought he'd be Ooh. Ooh, come on come on fish you gotta be home you gotta be home there we go I knew it. I knew it. <sighs> Little snook. I knew there had to be one there though. That was a perfect area. I didn't even get him in the mouth. Got him underneath the mouth. That's all right. little tiny snook I knew there had to be one there though not big enough to keep oh my gosh what are y'all eating over there cow he smokes y'all pooping on me definitely not big enough to keep but he's a little fatty man all right guys so today's verse of the day is coming from James 3, 9, and 10. It says, with it, talking about your mouth, your filthy mouth, no, I'm just kidding. With it, you bless the Lord and Father. And with it, we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not to be. So they're not necessarily saying using curse words, but using or cursing in in the sense of hey you're not gonna make it or you're not smart enough or i don't really think that you can do what you say that you're gonna do that's cursing somebody because god said we can do all things that are possible my thing is we have to uplift and build each other up and that comes with this right here if you're sitting in your situation you say you know what the situation seems rough. I'm not going to make it. Well, that's a curse. You have just cursed yourself. Because either comes blessings or cursings. God said he's with us always. So if he's with us and he conquers all, then I'm going to be saying, I'm going to be able to do it. I don't care what my situation looks like. I'm going to come out. Or I know what the doctor said. I have X, Y, Z. But I believe the report of the Lord. That's a blessing. The opposite is a curse. So guys, make sure that you're speaking life over yourself and others. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that verse of the day.
a bite. There we go. Did I lose it? Oh my gosh. I lost that fish. But right where I thought it would be. Right in there. Let's see what we can do here. A little snook. No, a little redfish. Oh, I'm using that on this one. Little redfish. He's definitely not big enough to keep, but he is a redfish. Nice little red right there. Let me see. I think they have to be 18 inches to keep. He has to be 18 and um, uh oh, my guy is over 18. He might be coming home with me because my wife likes redfish. So. I think I'm gonna take him on home. So you get to ride in the cooler, buddy. Actually, no. I think I'm gonna let him go. All right, guys. Nice little slot redfish right there. All right. See you, buddy. I figured that that would be snook territory right there. But, um, nope, Mr. Redfish wanted to play. So. my gosh that is a big fish oh my gosh that's a big fish he's going straight for the mangroves too come out of there come out come out come out oh yeah i got him out now So I was just trolling right along that edge. Oh, look at that, and the hook came right out. Hook came right out. Um, yeah, I was coming right off this corner right here and I had a long leader behind me and he nailed it. He hit it the first time and missed it and then came back for it, but about 20 inches not real big i thought he was bigger than that because he hit it like a mac truck all right
Now that was a nice way to end. I really appreciate each one of you hanging with me throughout this adventure. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you have never subscribed before, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out and also share my content with others. So that way they see the type of content I put out. All right, guys. Remember, God loves you. God bless you. May he keep you. Until next week, peace.